welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be going over some money mistakes that i've made in college so far i say so far because i am just a sophomore i have two more years um but like hopefully i'm able to learn from these mistakes and hopefully you guys are as well i hope you can take something from this video and apply it to your so life the first money mistake that i have made since i've been here is not properly budgeting i used to budget before um when i worked at my old job and i actually filmed the video on it i was gonna make a series where i showed you guys how i budgeted my paychecks but um i haven't been budgeting properly so i i there's nothing really to show you guys when you do budget like your money can definitely go like a longer way like when i used to budget i just felt like i had so much more left over because I, I i did because i was a lot smarter and more tactical about where i was putting my money it's actually something i enjoy doing i just don't really have the time to like focus on it now because like i'm so preoccupied with my classes um and just like being here no matter how little you're making like it will still make a difference even if you're not making a lot like budgeting will make your money go a much longer way so the second money mistake that i have kind of made is just buying food out a lot i'm already paying for a meal plan so like to already be paying thousands of dollars for a meal plan and on top of that still be buying food out it doesn't really make sense and while the food here is not that great I already paid for it, so I might as well just eat the food on campus instead of like constantly eating out. The way I kind of decided to um, manage how often I eat out is I decided I was only going to order food every other week. So like every other weekend, I would treat myself to something. But obviously I would look for like promo codes or look for the best deals and I would, you know, keep it under a certain amount. Eating out in college and just in life in general, like it really, it really adds up. So definitely be cautious about how much you're spending on So food. the third money mistake that I've made in college so far is not investing regularly. So I was in college last year, but everything was online. So it didn't really feel like I was in college. But during that time, I was investing a lot. Like, I was investing very regularly. Now, I'm kind of just throwing money in there every now and then. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, I haven't put anything in there in a while. Let me just, like, throw something in there. Investing, I feel like, is most effective when you're doing it on a consistent, um, a more consistent basis. Another reason I haven't been investing as much is because I'm not making as much as I did when I worked at Five Below. Because right now, I'm literally making, like, half of what I used to make so like i don't have a lot of money to go around i'm trying to think of where my money's even going i can't even tell you but like yeah i'm not making as much but you know even if you're just throwing in like ten dollars that's still better than nothing so um if you are investing if you are like trying to be an active investor make sure you're you have like a consistent um schedule that you're following when you're throwing your money in the stocks or wherever you're putting your money so the next money mistake that i've made is not keeping track of my expenses so yeah before i got here on campus i was very on top of my expenses like i was very particular i washed my expenses like a hawk i was so on top of it like i was very much aware of like how much i was spending how much i wasn't spending like if this was too much or if this was but now i literally don't even like check as much i'm not as um vigilant i don't know if that's the right word but i'm not as like on top of my expenses like i'm kind of just buying stuff randomly whenever i feel like i need it but i'm not really taking into account how much i have like should i be getting this right now like do i need it or do i just want it and like again that's why i don't know where my money's going because i'm just buying whatever like i've been making a lot of impulsive purchases lately and while it um satisfied my needs short term long term it's like okay did i really need that like should i really have bought that like if i had taken some time to like you know really think about it i probably would realize like hey you don't need this don't buy this but i did and yeah my expenses have just been a mess lately but it's okay because we're I'm, I'm learning from this so it's it's all right so my next money mistake is not using my meal plan um this kind of ties into eating out so i have 14 meals for every week at the end of the week or like when it resets it resets every thursday so like i would still have some meals left over and i wouldn't use it all and when you think about that that's kind of like your money that you're just letting go to waste like since you're not using up all your meals like the leftover like 
you paid for and you're just not gonna use it so i kind of used to let it go to waste before but now it's like i'm making sure i make the most out of my meal plans like even if i don't feel like eating something i'll still just buy something just just so i can know that i'm getting i'm at least getting my money's worth it's terrible how like the meals just kind of go to waste if you don't use them like this is something you're paying for and i feel like a lot of people don't realize that but at my school a while ago they have this thing where you could like donate all your extra meals to like you know um homeless children or something but they don't have that anymore so i kind of just have to make sure that i'm you know i have no meals left by the end of the week which is difficult because the food options on this campus are horrendous but one thing i did find out is that you can use your meals to buy cups from like starbucks or like merch from starbucks um which is pretty cool so my next money mistake is not working on developing a new stream of income so i know on this channel i've probably been preaching a little bit about how important it is to have like multiple sources of income but da, 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 da. but like when you look at me you're like girl what's your streams of income like what streams of income do you have and that's a good question because <laughs> i don't know i i literally don't know it's definitely something i could have been working on but again like college is so stressful like i've been so stressed out on my classes so preoccupied about that that i haven't really had the time i haven't made the time it's not that i don't have the time i feel like a lot of people have time they just don't have good time management skills which is something i definitely need to work on but like yeah i just haven't had i haven't set time aside to work on you know developing a new stream a new source of income that could like you know potentially help me out with like you know school expenses even so another money mistake that i've made is not using my credit card um as regularly as i used to and as i should be so i got a credit card like a year or two ago i can't even remember i think it was 2020 i got a credit card and i was using it regularly for like small purchases here and there here and there i was using it for small purchases like every now and then but i was using it on like a consistent basis and if you want to build your credit up you're supposed to use your you're supposed to like deliberately use your credit card for purchases so that um the credit or whoever can see that you're um you're good at making payments on time so i used to um use my credit card but i don't really know the last time i touched it to be honest with you the reason is because i don't want to use my credit card and then like you know since i'm so my mind is like all over the place i'm like afraid that i'm gonna forget to like um make a payment on time but it's definitely important if you do have a credit card if you don't have a credit card you should consider getting one because it's pretty easy but just be responsible while you're using it but um it's definitely important to use your credit card but um yeah that was like the last like money mistake that i um have been making so far in college if i come up with any more or if i notice any more things that i'm doing wrong or any mistakes i've been making i will definitely make another part to this video but if you enjoyed this one um please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me and yeah i'll talk to you guys next time